There was a time when individual people and entire nations, everyone from the humble to the mighty, publicly recognized that there was a very real God and that not only were his fingerprints all over history, but also his guiding hand was still present in the flow of world affairs. If God was so influential before, why is he so ineffective now? What happened to God in the last few centuries? The Bible prophesies that we will soon enter a time when there will be a global rejection of God on an unprecedented scale. The Apostle Paul describes that state in detail in 2 Timothy chapter 3, beginning in verse 1. But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Once God is removed, His boundaries, His authoritative boundaries are removed as well, and all is permitted, and chaos is always going to be the result. As the New York Times said in its article, we should recognize that once we abandon the rigid constraints of history, we cannot be sure that we know where the future will take us. Something has happened to us. Nothing has happened to God. He's still there. He hasn't changed. He is just as loving, just as powerful, just as kind, just as fair, just as good, and just as just as He has always been. As God's Word says so plainly and beautifully in the book of James, Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Don't miss out on this opportunity to ground yourself in the facts and to know with firm conviction that there is a God, a real God, and that His word and promises are sure. Request your copy today.